Hey you guys, Bronte here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new video, a new clean with me. Today we are going to focus on the master bedroom in the master closet. It is a complete disaster. I'm going to be working on my side of the closet because my husband's side is organized and mine is not. If you are new here, don't forget to stick around and subscribe. Hang out with us for more videos like this one weekly. As you can see, my closet is a mess. I was not kidding. So we are going to clean this baby up. We are going to declutter and we are going to clean because I have just been neglecting it. I mean, if you can close the door, out of sight, out of mind, am I right? But we gotta tackle this because it just cannot stay this way. Before we get started on the closet though, I am going to strip my bed and take off the sheets, take off the bedding and throw all that stuff in the wash because it's been a hot minute since it's been washed. So I'm gonna throw this in the wash and then we are going to get started on the closet. As you can see, my closet is a hot mess, so we are just going to start by getting everything off of the floor, getting everything out of the closet that is on the floor, and then we will come back to organizing that stuff later and cleaning all that stuff up. But I need a space where I can walk, so we're just going to get everything off the floor, and then we are going to start organizing my clothing. did a clean and declutter of my son's closet which was a complete disaster way worse than my closet and in that video I shared that I like to shop my home before going out and buying anything to do projects like this like organizing and decluttering projects shop your home is it's such a good tip go and shop your home if you're trying to organize your stuff I'm sure you can find something in your home to use like I found this old shoe rack in the back of my closet that I'm just going to use to organize my shoes as nice as the super fancy closets are, it's totally unnecessary to go out and spend a ton of money if you don't have it to get your closet nice and organized. As you can see here, I'm just removing any empty hangers from all of my clothes and then I decided that I was just going to take all of the clothes down and put them on the floor and then just start fresh and hang everything up. And to the right, I am going to be hanging up my dresses and my coats because it's a taller area and I didn't want my dresses touching the floor, the long maxi dresses touching the floor. And then on that far wall, I am going to be putting all of my shirts and some of my cardigans as well. Now that my stuff has been hung up, I'm going to color coordinate everything. I am not really going to organize by sleeve length like I did in my son's closet. I'm just going to color coordinate it because I don't need to get too crazy with it. I don't even wear a lot of these clothes. I just can't bring myself to get rid of stuff because then I'd have no clothes hanging in my closet. Mom life, I wear the same things all of the time, but you never know when you're gonna need a bodycon mini dress. You know what I'm saying? And I refuse to get rid of that white dress hanging over there because that's what I got married in. else 
almost relate on wearing the same thing all the time. Being on Instagram and being on YouTube, I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't go shopping all the time and have like the latest trendy clothes ever. And sometimes I feel like I'm behind on the times, but I just feel so guilty going out and going shopping and spending a ton of money on myself when I could be spending it on my children. Is anybody else like that? Am I the only one with this serious mom guilt when it comes to clothing? Am I weird? I don't know. Maybe I am. But if you feel me, let me know in the comments down below. What do you splurge on for yourself? I like to splurge on stuff for the house, like home decor or stuff to update my home versus spending money on clothing. lovely mess that I have created while trying to organize and clean up my closet. Everything has been moved to the bedroom so now my bedroom is a mess and we are going to clean this up too. First things first though, we need to finish up washing the bedding so that I have nice clean sheets, nice clean bedding for my nice clean room. So I'm going to remove the duvet cover and I'm also going to remove the sham covers from my pillows and then we are going to throw these in the wash, throw the sheets in the dryer and come back to cleaning up the room. work on folding laundry that had been on the floor for a while and getting that stuff all picked up and cleaned up and then I'm going to work on laundry that needs to be hung up in my closet in my organized closet and get all that stuff put away too just gonna get the floors picked up now so I can finish cleaning up in here get everything ready to vacuum in a little bit and I have a cleaning hack that I want to share with you guys so I just need to get everything picked up in a little more organized so that I can share that with you it is such a good hack you guys 
if you have not heard of it or if you have not done it yourself, it is life changing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to share my favorite cleaning hack with you guys. This is perfect for dusting the walls. I'm going to be using a microfiber cloth and my Swiffer mop, and I'm just gonna put that on there just like I would a Swiffer pad. My friend Monica, Monica Rose here on YouTube, taught me this hack, and it is seriously life-changing. Honestly, I didn't even know that dusting your walls was a thing until we moved into, the, into this house and had this darker pink color, but apparently it is, and apparently you need to do it. This is life-changing. This makes it go so much faster. It is so incredibly easy. And look at all that dust. It's only been a couple of months since I've done this, so here is your public service announcement. Go dust your walls and try this. If you try it, come back, leave me a comment, and let me know what you think. I seriously think this is one of the best cleaning hacks ever. Yeah. I'm also going to dust my ceiling fan using a microfiber cloth as well and then I'm going to dust the shutters in my room just using um, a great value Walmart version of a Swiffer duster and I'm going to dust all of the shutters because they are extremely dusty. My house gets very dusty very easily and it needs to be dusted quite often. it's time to vacuum up all that dusty crusty business with my shark rocket upright vacuum I am a sucker for vacuum lines carpet lines whatever you want to call them I just love carpet lines like I am obsessed with them I find them so satisfying and this shark rocket upright vacuum gives such amazing carpet lines if you are like me and you are looking for a new vacuum, I highly suggest this one. I will have it linked down below for you guys if you are interested. Christmas is coming up, put it on your Christmas list. So everything's been vacuumed, everything's been picked up, everything's been clean, and now it is time to make my bed so that we have a nice clean bed to get into in a nice clean room. mentioned a few times here on my community tab on YouTube if you are a subscriber it pops up in your subscription feed where all the videos pop up so if you're not subscribed subscribe now so you can get those Wherever notifications go, too but I've talked about doing this a couple of times the future is and ours I'm, now. Going to, I'm going to try to do it I am a to do it ends. so give me it's some time my friends. I'm going to attempt These are the good to upload times. a video every single day from December 1st Yeah, I learned stuff like kids, recipes, cooking, crafts, and I am also going to be posting 
because that is what's on my channel for the most part. So don't forget to subscribe for all that fun stuff. And of course, your weekly cleaning motivation and grocery hauls. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for being here. I hope that this video was motivating to you to get your cleaning done or tackle a project that you had been putting off just like I was putting off cleaning my house. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe before going. Have an amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next video.